feeling about that because the map border is at the hedge line rather than halfway between the field and the hedge line. So I'm not wrapping my equipment up along the map border because it still looks like there's another 10 feet before I hit the hedge. But definitely an improvement. Um, driving down the the roads is a lot easier with the addition with the added clearance. And it took me most of last week Saturday to reset roughly where we were. There's a couple of differences. The equipment's older because we ported the equipment with its age and wear. Um, and then had to do redo a lot of the work because I had yeah when you re when you start a new game you always start in August so I needed to clear all the way through to April. How are we doing? Seventeen. Let's see. Using this thing, much better idea. Saves me driving all over the field just to collect two bales at a time. Where are we at? 1924 more. Ooh. Very careful not to catch the uh, bale collector arm on the hedgerow. Okay. Okay, drop that off. I think I'm going to use this to collect the last seven. There's a bale there, there's a bale there, we can hook those with the front loader. Um, oh yeah. it does take its time. Oh. Alrighty. Of course, the great thing about this collector and the extractor is once you've unwrapped those bales, you can just drive straight down the row until the trailer's full or the collector's full. do it this way. Right, I will, yes. Close that. for now, we can turn the engine off, jump out, 
And let's go load the uh, the wrapper. See how uh, uh, how precarious I can make this. Um, need to load the forks a bit. Does it? Nope, fault. That one fell off. Back it up. And that one fell off. Well, that was a far more efficient way of doing things, should we say. I'm very, very careful. Two, four, six, seven. That's seven. Oh, it's wobbling. This is not going to end up quite so nice. Although we might manage to. Go on. Yes. Ooh. don't have to do this as precisely as you have to do it in real world conditions. doing it this way I don't want to tip it too far back because then the bale will fall on the tractor and I don't want to tip it too far forward because then the bale will just fall off and the whole uh, time-saving operation fails and well if I make sure that the uh, forks are just above Where the extractor is going to reverse to. Um, this might be tricksy. Fairly sure you do this one at a time in the real world, but uh, hey, if you can get away with it. Oh, that was a mess. And the next two might be a mess too.
whole magical spring into position. Okay, I am not sure these are now close enough together to stab both. Of course, the sad thing about the uh, Square Extractor, I haven't tested it in 22, but in 2019, it used to uh, reduce the size, the the visual size of the uh, square bales. Nope. Not even close. I think once I'm close enough, the extractor will uh, do its little rotation thing. So uh, that's a visual clue that I'm getting close enough for it to activate. Alrighty, very gently. I see deer in my field. And a few more. Still not a quick job, but it's, I think it's quicker than using the, uh, the little self-contained wrapper. Definitely I feel it's a lot easier than using the round baler wrapper. Plus the bales are bigger this way. So fewer trips to the store at the end of it. Oops. Got a bit too close there. Okay, I'm going to grab this one. I'm not going to bother with the last three. I think that makes for about 25. After I put this one on.
So, we jump out of there, we jump in here, turn the engine on, and unload. Letting me go. Um, okay, engine off, engine on, back up. Okay, this thing occasionally has a little bit of an issue. I'm just going to move out of there. Now, as we've said, this is all now silage, so. Just run all the way down this. Unwrap it all. And make the first delivery for the contract. Where is this going, by the way? Uh, there. Take it to the biogas plant. Okay, I guess I can do that. This is so easy. Just drive down the row until it's full. This is the way I used to do it in Farm Sim 19 on our old family farm. I had a telehandler to load the bales into the extractor. But with season with, with realism is seasons on farm sim nineteen because you had to supply wrapped bales, this doesn't work because it doesn't ferment. No, it didn't ferment them immediately, so they were just still grass. Unless you waited the whole month, which if you're playing three day seasons, three days for them to ferment before you could complete the contract, and you could only have one contract at a time, so this just wasn't a practical option. Farm Sim 22, because we don't have the whole, um, <coughs> or we have modify modifications to the game rules, so if you're doing a contract, the bales ferment immediately, and various other bits and pieces. Where are we up to? 21. 22. Okay. Three and twenty-four. All righty, so let's go from the cab. I need to raise the arm, which I cannot see. However, the trailer just lifted, so I will assume that's all good. And we get to drive down to the BGA. Now I could, once we get to the entrance to our yard, I could set this up and off on a worker to un... I don't know if I can unload at the BGA, but I could definitely send it to drive to the BGA. The trees are still smacking you in the face, but the hedgerows are definitely improved location. 
also since this is an auto loader um, or auto bale collector the bales on the back of this aren't real so we can drive them through hedges which you can't when they're fit yeah when the bale is physically there and yeah we're making 21 miles an hour I honestly don't know what the volume we've got on the back is um, what's it? Two, three quarters, 24 is 18 um, 180,000 litres on the back I think yeah our tractor would struggle with this but it does do 105 thousand liters with with fewer issues unlike the Massey Ferguson which eh, you can do 105,000 at one mile an hour this one definitely not struggling I think this this runs about 340 horsepower so not not a problem <coughs> but, uh, we'll drop this load off we're not going to get the contract completed right now we'll see the progress um, and I will probably send this back to the yard under a worker while I load the next stack of bales okay somewhere here they're right there opposite the light pole sure if there's a difference between these two digesters now we're good contract on field is 20% complete and 35% transported that worries me that seriously worries me If we're 35% transported, then we basically need two more loads of this to make 70% more. And we don't have two full loads of this trailer to ship. Which means we might have to wait till the 1st of June when our bales are complete before we can uh, complete this contract. That's kind of a problem. <clears throat> Fortunately, we have, oh, we've got one in our uh, silo. We might end up holding this contract all the way through to the 1st of June just so we can complete it. Ah, <coughs> uh, that's not fun. I'm not, yeah, and the other thing is, I'm not sure if 
it would work if I had 150 centimeter bales uh, because that's what the contract's expecting to be delivered. But there's definitely there's no more grass to be had. There's po there's the potential for one more bale. I think we've got we got a block of 24 and then eight more and we're out of grass at that point we shall see <laughs> One bale there that I can use. If I have to. I think we made 19 from our field, which we can use, but not for three days. Maybe two days now. Pick that one up. Well, no, we have one row of 24, which is what we just delivered. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus 12 more. We are 12 for bale short, I think. That is not a good deal. Let's see if we can get this thing moving. seem to be having traction issues, okay. Okay. I don't know what the deal with that is. Because it's not like I've got, got it unfolded. You should be able to move that just as is. Anyway. I think with a little bit of unrealistic super strength, we're all set up and ready to go for the next load. Not quite. Let's try that again. Oh, it's not happy about that. How's that angle? That looks a lot better. Okay, well, I think on that bombshell, we're going to call it a night. We will be back next week. Hopefully this contract will be complete by then. But if not, we'll be stealing a couple of our bales to get it completed. Uh, but for now... I wish everybody a good weekend, have fun, and I am out of here.